I hate when Apple does this stuff. I hate when Apple does this stuff. Apple today announced a new color uh, for the iPhone 7, 7 Plus that I would have absolutely bought. Uh, they now have a product red version uh, that you can buy uh, for the only the two top models, 128 gigs and 256 gigs. I have the 256 gig black iPhone 7 Plus. I would have gladly, oh, I hate when random numbers call me. Anyway, I would have gladly bought the red iPhone 7 Plus. But no, because I already bought an iPhone 7 Plus, now I'm stuck with black. You know, knowing that there's red now, it's really, Ugh, why do you do this, Apple? Anyway, the product red, so I think, what, 10% or something like that of, of, of the cell of the phone goes to Africa or something, or something to do with AIDS. Anyway, they also released uh, new cases, new leather cases, but I don't care about that. I don't even like the cases that Apple makes. Uh, we're moving down the list. They've got new watch bands, uh, which I might look into. They look kind of nice. They got different colors. Uh, they have a black one I like. Um, but yeah, so it's like Apple just released a bunch of new stuff, and there was no um, no keynote. They just threw it all out there. Going down a the list, uh, they discontinued the iPhone or the iPad Mini 2, which okay, it's old anyway. Um, they now offer the iPhone SE in 32 and 128 gigabytes now, which is cool. So if you really like the old, the old look of the iPhone 5s, there you go, new capacities. They got a new, um, a new app called Clips. It's a video creation iOS app. Um. It lets users combine videos, image, and music into one seamless video that can be shared through iMessages and Facebook and Instagram. So there's that, if you care about that. That's probably going to... The thing with Apple is when they come out with gimmicky products in the in the form of an app, it usually doesn't last. So we'll see. You guys remember Ping on iTunes? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like that. That's, what it, that's the first thing I thought of. Uh, let's see, they updated Swift, now available in five additional languages, so there's that. Uh, and then they debuted the new 9.7 inch iPad with the A9 chip to replace the iPad Air 2 that I just got last summer. Good to know that my brand new iPad Air 2 is already discontinued and no longer is for sale. And, uh... So Apple's new entry level model at the 9.7 inch size starts at 329 for 32 gigs, 429 for 128 gigs. That's it? That's it? $429 for 128 gigs? Mine's a 64 gig and it was $749. And it's got a stinking AT&T. Okay, let me just, can I just talk for a second? Hold on, sorry, I'm out of frame. I do not use this thing. I don't even know why I have it anymore. I, it has been dead. Sorry, I got a mess behind me. Anyway, it has been dead for months. You know, watch. I will. I'll turn on the button right now. It's gonna say, it's gonna show dead battery. Unless it's just that it's so far dead to where it just doesn't turn on at all now. That's probably what it is. I don't use the iPad. I don't. I don't have a really a need to use the iPad. So. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm still paying for it. Well, I'm paying for the, the Wi-Fi of it. It's been paid off for a while now. And my, uh, battery's about to die, so I got to be quick. But I have, I realize I don't use the iPad, and I also have the Surface, and I don't use the Surface either. So maybe I'm just not a tablet person anymore, I don't know. But I've got, between the Mac, uh, book, the Mac Mini, and the iMac, and my phone, I, there's really no need for the iPad in my life i guess that's what i'm trying to say so who knows anyway that's today's news i gotta end it quick because the battery light's blinking thanks for watching guys um are you gonna pick up this stuff I, it really makes me mad that apple came out with a red iphone after i've already bought one it, it makes me really mad worse than the new ipad anyway thanks for watching see you next video peace